The Premier is gone! Yes, the coward has already fled. The USSR is at death's door, comrade. Which is why we must hurry. Sir, I beg you, please! What is this? Some sort of escape route? No, sir. Twelve months ago, I was put in charge of a top-secret project. Whatever it is, it is too late. With respect, General, you are wrong. Please. For you see, sir, time is on our side. No, 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 it isn't ready. It hasn't been tested. We don't even know if it works. If what works? My time machine. Prepare these coordinates. No. Please. Please. Now! Sir. No! No! No, please. No. Please, hurry. Get in! All right. You cannot be serious. Come, Comrade General. A new world order awaits. Come! No, no, touch nothing. We mustn't do anything to disrupt space-time continuum. Where are we? Brussels, 1927. 1927. The Solvay International Physics Conference. Is that Einstein? Yes, Doctor. The man most responsible for our enemy's technological superiority. The man who made them invincible. What do you plan to do? <laughs> Gentlemen? Doctor! No! I do not understand. We have altered the past and changed the present. Ah, good to see you, sir. I have the reports from the front that you requested. Thank you. What do you have for me? I'm sorry, Comrade General. I meant Premier Cherdenko. Sir, the Allies are on the run soon. Western Europe will be ours. You hear that, General? Our enemies have been defeated. Hold on, sir. I'm receiving an emergency transmission from our northern base. They're attacking! There are too many! We have to evacuate! Who is attacking? The Imperial War Machine has been unleashed. Do not struggle against what is inevitable. All who stand in the way of our divine destiny will be swept away by the march of history. You will bow before us, or you will cease to exist. Sir, it appears that the Empire has mounted a full-scale assault. What Empire? The Empire of the Rising Sun, of course. We now have two mortal enemies? We must unleash our nuclear weapons. Annihilate them all! 
Excuse me, General? Our nuclear weapons? Our atomic bombs? Don't you understand? Without Einstein, there is no nuclear weapons because we have altered the space-time continuum. Oh, who knows what nightmares we have created. Hello everybody and welcome to the first episode of Let's Play Red Alert 3 with uh, me, Irv. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, this this game has been on my Let's Play list quite a while. Um you know, I thought it was time to continue my Command and Conquer list place. So, yeah, we'll do Red Alert 3 next. Awesome. And you saw that awesome intro there. Yeah, so yeah, this game is the third game in the Red Alert series and the last one to come out. Um, I guess if they don't make a fourth one, they probably won't. But whatever, <laughs> they made an expansion for this too. I'll play that too. But let's not talk about that. Uh, so yeah, as you saw, uh, the story is basically like you know, the Soviets were defeated in uh, Red Alert 2 uh, because of the Allied had Einstein to help them with like uh, technology and stuff. You know, he invented like, like the prison technology and everything. Um, so what they did is went back in time deleted him from history, but when they did that, you know, a bunch of other stuff happened. Like, yeah, you saw the Empire of the Rising Sun, which is basically like the Empire of Japan, uh, advanced, because obviously no Einstein, no nuclear bombs, no Hiroshima, blah blah blah, you know, so, yeah, Japan has, like, advanced and built this army and they're going to take over the world, basically. So, <laughs> this game actually has three sides. It's the Allies, the Soviets, and the Empire of the Rising Sun. So it's kind of like Yuri's Revenge, where there are three sides, you know, the Allied Soviets and Yuri. So this is like Yuri's Revenge with three sides, but don't, but there's no Yuri or anything in this game. Uh, they, they, they skip that. Mm. I turned down the sound a little bit uh, on everything. Maybe I should turn down a little bit more. I don't know. Yeah, ah, it's probably good. Yeah, so you can hear both me and the game. Fine. Whatever. Let's let's go back to the game. Oh, I'm gonna make a new campaign. Um, in Red Alert 2, I started with the Soviet campaign. And... <coughs> sorry. I should probably do that here too. And because, you know, the introduction, or like the intro movie, was more like from the Soviet's perspective. So I think we'll we'll uh, we'll continue with that and play the Allied and Empire of the Rising Sun campaign last. So let's go Soviets. Let's go! And as you notice, there's a bunch of cool, uh, well, cool, but you know, there's a bunch of cool actors in this game. <laughs> ah, <laughs> That's pretty Commander, cool. as you can see, our situation is shockingly grim. All our divisions are concentrated in Europe, pushing the Allies west. This empire knows very well that we're vulnerable right now. They will be expecting us to fall swiftly. At this very moment. Their invasion force moves relentlessly towards Leningrad. I have chosen you to defend the USSR in this difficult hour because I need a commander who does not believe in defeat. 
someone who will not simply drive our enemies back, but ultimately annihilate them, humiliate them, and show them no mercy. General Kirkov, would you like to meet our new commander? New commander? Yes. We're sending him to protect Leningrad. Even though I told you it was foolhardy to try and defend that city. If Leningrad falls, the Soviet people will begin to lose hope. Yes. Well, I wish him luck then. The Empire's technology is highly advanced, and he will likely be vastly outnumbered, but of course, it is an honor to sacrifice one's life for the motherland. <laughs> Indeed. Uh -oh. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a nation to defend. Comrade Dasha will be your information officer <laughs> and will coordinate all our communication. Thank you, Your Excellency. Commander, the armies of the Empire are closing in as we speak. Make haste, Commander. Time is of the essence. Hmm, that's cleavage. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the, the, the cutscenes are equally cheesy as they are in uh, Red Alert 2 and every other Command Conquer game, basically. And one thing that is very cool about this game, that differs from any other Command Conquer game, is that you can play this campaign in co-op mode if you want to. So, I mean, every mission you can play solo, and then you have like this AI co-commander who helps you, or you can play co-op with, with like a friend, or or somebody who's not your friend, but a human being at least. So <laughs> that 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 is really cool. I really like that. Uh, in this let's play, I'm gonna make like a few missions. I play solo. A few missions. I'll try to get some people who wants to play with me, like so we can play co-op. So you see how that is. So I'm gonna play both ways. Um, I would appreciate if I don't get like a hundred comments. Well, I never get a hundred comments, but I would appreciate. <laughs> Appreciate if I don't get like all this. Oh my God, Irv, uh, can I play with you? Oh my God, Irv, can I play with you? Like, you know, chill out. You know, maybe, okay, but you know, I probably won't. So, chill with those comments. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna play solo for this first mission at least. So you at least you, you so you see the game. The Empire's invasion force, other than they are extremely mobile. They have surrounded Leningrad and are assaulting the city by way of the canals save our great metropolis, if it is a symbol of the people's revolution. We've assigned the legendary sniper Natasha to your command. She will help you to help defend the city and eradicate the invading imperial soldiers. Das Vidania. Das Vidania. So yeah, you you see that this is very like Red Alert 2-ish, you know, this world map, and they're like pinpoint where you're supposed to be in this mission, and a bunch of these pictures, what the you know, mission's gonna be about a little bit. It's exactly like Red Alert 2, they really bring back, and this... This music here is kind of like a remix of Grinder, you know, that Red Alert 2 music uh, song. Oh, whatever. Leningrad is under siege. Repel the Imperial invaders and protect the fortress using our remaining forces in the vicinity. Natasha herself is available to assist in this dark hour. Your objectives are... Secure the fortress in the heart of Leningrad. Once secure, more forces will be available. Good luck to you. Thank you. So, <laughs> I'm gonna try to play every mission on hard though, also. Because, you know, I'm a badass. Um, yeah, so this is my co-commander. This is an AI guy. If I wasn't playing with a human, the other human would, you know, be there. Whatever. <laughs> the other human. Or, you know, I can play with the monkey, I don't know. The Empire's blockade has kept us from getting onto the island. We're now attempting emergency landing operation. Use the surviving forces to secure the fortress. See, so yeah, we actually start with a hero unit. Uh, the Soviets, it's as the Allies, have a hero unit. Stand by. New objective received. Select Natasha. She excels against enemy infantry. Good to obviously, the Empire of the Rising Sun Natasha also had a hero unit. On the gates. Natasha here. See, Natasha is the Soviets' oh, hero. Easy. She's like a, a badass sniper. And like Boris in Europe's Revenge, she can Air call strike. in an airstrike. So, she's kind of like Boris, but, you know, a woman, and she has a sniper rifle instead of a AK-47, I think Boris had. Oh god. So yeah, this is in-game. You, you kind of see that this game is very cartoony, 
Um, like, like, yeah, except from, um, I mean, if you, if you compare it to Barbarian Wars, like Command Conquer 3, and this is the game, the same in you. They may be your co-commander for this mission. Let's catch up if we live through this, yeah? Yeah, see, so I have a co-commander. If I were to play with... in green uniforms. They only take orders from me, but hey, you can always boss me around if you want. Nah. So if I were to play with another guy, the guy would be controlling the green units. New objective or a girl, received. you know, I don't know. New construction train options. five flag troopers. Okay. Select your barracks and train five flag troopers to fight for you. And I can also order my co-commander to do stuff like attack here, defend there. So yeah, I won't be able to explain everything in this game in this first episode, so I'll just show. Um, but yes, the first infantry... What are those sneaky goats planning? The first unit we see here is the flag trooper. It's, it's an old unit that was in Red Alert 2. He works the same here. Greetings from the Empire of the oh, Rising Sun. Fuck. I am Commander Kenji Tenzai, and it will be a great pleasure for me dismantling your cherished city to death. Bastard. Who wants a piece of attacks incoming from the south? My forces are on it. Oh, let's have fun. <laughs> Sound like you said hurrah. Which is like <laughs> Which is basically war in Swedish. That's pretty funny. And one thing I should mention about this game. Every unit in this game has like a secondary ability. If you press the F key or click here. And the flak trooper. They can switch between flak cannon and... and um, Anti-personal mine or whatever they're called. Uh, switch to a magnetic mine, which is effective versus uh, recoils. But they have to move in very close to attach them, which is pretty stupid. God, they're actually attacking the fortress. Damn, I don't have enough flag troopers. I'm on it. Damn, this is not bad. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> the construction options. Train more conscripts to defend the fortress. Oh, I can train conscripts now. Yes, the conscripts are back. Oh, God! Brilliant, my brother. Yeah, yeah. Oh God, oh God. Some half health. Yeah, the conscripts are back. Just like in uh, Alert 2. One thing that differs from Therbian Wars is also that the infantry is single one now. Except for, uh, I mean, uh, compared to uh, Therbian Wars, where the infantry was like a squad. Here it's back to the classic, you know, one one infantry is like one. Except from, a, you know, instead of being like a squad. Do not be too pleased with yourself. The real attacks are only about to begin. Oh shit. I don't know, those last attacks felt pretty real to me. <laughs> sure did. The Empire has begun assaulting the Hermitage Museum. It contains Russia's most precious historical treasures. Saving it will go a long way in giving our people hope at this dark hour. Kinda cool. I always wanted to visit like Leningrad for real. The bullfrog can eject your infantry up to the Hermitage. <laughs> eject. So yeah, this is uh, this is a Soviet transport unit. This is the bullfrog. It's amphibious. Also, one thing about this game is that this game is heavily like based on amphibious and naval combat because every building, almost every building, you can place on water too, and there's a bunch of units who are amphibious, and obviously there's a bunch of naval units. That are only uh, available on the water. So yeah, this game is very what should you say, navalish? <laughs> if you could call it that. You save the Hermitage. This will restore great hope for the people. But it is not yet time to celebrate, for if the fortress falls, it will all be for nothing. Don't worry, I got this. Your troopers are needed back at the fortress. The bullfrog transport may launch them across the canal. So yeah, as you notice, bullfrog's special ability is to like, like launch infantry with this man cannon, and then they drop down with parachutes. And they can hold up five infantry, so they can eject five infantry, basically. 
Which is pretty weird, but it's kind of funny. Yes. Let me show you my nice trick. The fortress is under attack. The Empire's forces are approaching through the canals from all sides. Oh god. The fortress must not fall, comrade. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it, I'll do it, don't worry. Oh god, Shogun. The ships. Okay, time to get ugly. Let's see how you fare with the Emperor's Shogun battleships. A unit is under attack. Ah, uh, you think that's dangerous? I'll show you. I'll take some down with me. Our allies are under attack. attack. Yeah, here you see the Shogun battleship. They're very heavily armed and have amazing firepower. My men will defend the fortress to the last. I'm gonna need you to take out those battleships. Damn it! Can you please defend like this side? Moving towards the point. I won't rust if I go for a bit. Natasha can swim out into the canals in order to call in airstrikes against the battleships. I know, Next. I know. So as you notice, this Next. this mission is kind of like the first Next. mission for the Allies in Red Alert too. You know, the Let's Soviets were attacking them, and you defended like. The last of Leningrad's treasury to you. Please spend it wisely. Thank you. Training. It's kind of like the first mission in Red Alert 2 for the Allies when the Soviets attack New York and you defend like this outpost. And you use Tanya to swim out in the water to see for some dreadnoughts. It's kind of the same. I see a resemblance there. We have granted you access to our new weapon, the magnetic satellite. Oh. This powerful magnet in space can focus its attraction on a single metallic vehicle. Use it wisely. Oh god. We're ready for the next plan. Good See ya. Yeah. See ya. Yeah. There's, there's support the powers in this game too. Menu and choose the magnetic satellite. The magnetic satellite is ready to use. Use it against the battleships. You may select and guide the magnetic satellite to affect more targets. Ah, ah, ah. You like me, Scott? See ya. Yeah, there's support powers in this game. Just as in. Uh, just as in Command and Conquer 3. And generals, actually. Was the first game to introduce those, and in Command and Conquer 3, they cost money to like, you know, use. But here, it doesn't cost anything. The only thing you have to worry about is the cooldown. So <laughs> you can't spam them. I think this will be mission accomplished. Yep. This is just the beginning. Expect to see much more of me and the other Shogun. Well, fuck you, too. I hope they're more of a challenge than you. <laughs> <Objective>. <laughs> the fortress still stands in Leningrad is safe. Excellent work. The premier will surely be pleased. Oh yeah, like a boss. So yeah, that's the first mission for the Soviets. Uh, it's probably too early to talk about what I think about this game. We can leave that to like the last episodes, but I generally like it. Although it doesn't feel like Red Alert 2 at all. I mean, it's not Red Alert 2. It's not even near as cool as, as that. Uh, but yeah, as any other Command and Conquer Let's Plays, I'll do one mission per episode. So next episode will be mission number two for the Soviets. So yeah, I'll see you then. Bye bye.